craft beer. Craft beer. Craft beer. Craft beer. Craft beer. First is first is scale, right? The scale at which commercial breweries operate is is um, anywhere between 50 to 100 times what we operate at at the bare minimum. Second is. Um, uh, they, they are more interested in making one type of beer taste the same over and over and over again across every part of the country or sometimes the world. Uh, we, are, on the other hand, are not concerned about that. We are trying to make different, different styles. So at, currently at Great State, you'll, have, you'll see we have 10 beers pouring across the city and they're constantly changing. So one, one other thing is uh, uh, innovation and, and, and change. Third, third is, I think, focus on quality. We are always looking to make beer that is that is the best we can make. Uh, cost is not something we necessarily uh, bring into the picture, at least not the first thing we notice. Right? So our beers are way more expensive to make, are made from uh, good ingredients, are made from fresh ingredients. Fourth is experimentation. Because we are small batches, we get to you know, make some some interesting beers. Like, like uh, we, we, we do beers with kokum, Infused uh, uh, infusion, we do coconut infusions, which which a big brewery just can't possibly think of because of all those constraints they have. With the fifth point for uh, difference between commercial and craft is that commercial beer wants to be present in a bottle in every part of the country. So they need to transport beer over two, three, four, five hundred. Uh, kilometers, right? So they pasteurize their beer, there are preservatives added to the beer, there's also color added to the beer because they also want that beer to taste the same everywhere and look the same, right? Uh, we don't pasteurize our beer, we don't add any preservatives, there is no color, there is a 5% variation batch to batch because it's all handmade. Tastes really good. Craft beer fans see the passion that the producers have, and they get passionate about you know trying new things and, and finding um, you know a, a, a beer that really shows uh, heart and soul. I mean that's craft beer. It's a craft. It's something that someone put a lot of effort into. Um, and that, that really shines through in the beer. I think innovative would be the word I'd describe it. Uh, authentic. I'll say mind blowing. It's a heaven. <laughs> Love. Genius. Beauty. Interesting. Fresh. Passion. Delicious. Breaking from the norm. Starting from 2010, I think it's growing, but it's a price conscious market, right? You have places that serve a bottle beer, any commercial beer for uh, 99 bucks a pint nowadays. So people prefer going for that. I mean, craft beer in general is not a very affordable thing for the masses that are there. 
It's picked up definitely because right now you have people talking about handcrafted beer, you have people posting about it. So you know that there is a liking towards handcrafted beer. There is a liking, there is a appreciation towards it. It will take a lot more time in India. People have to understand and be educated about it first and then have it. You can't just go one day and expect them to become a fan of what you have. You have to understand why exactly it's happened. What goes into making the beer. They have to see the process. You have to understand that this is something that's literally handcrafted in small badges that you have. IPA, hands down IPA, because uh, well the hoppiness is what attracts me to the beer the most. I would say ales and uh, stout. It's like fruity and citrusy, or it's very bitter, nice heavy ones that make you feel like you've eaten a lot. Sars is my favorite, hence I have this blueberry pie. An IPA, any day. <laughs> this one. I have to say it's the Bajra Ale. I like stouts a lot. I, I really like uh, malty, chocolatey things. The New England IPA is the North East American way of making it, which is a lot, lot dry hops. So it have a very robust aroma, a lot of head, uh, and overall damn good. Like craft brew is like the perfect mixture of uh, arts and science. Uh, like the science goes behind it and it makes something beautiful, which is a very artful product in the end. So it's skill, it's passion, it's knowledge, everything that mixes into that one uh, pint of beer. Oh, it's difficult. I've been asked a lot of questions, but never that. Uh, you know the kind of person who gives you warm bear hugs? No matter whenever you meet them, I think that would be craft fairs. <laughs> would just meet you and they'd give like engulf you in a like really big warm hug. And I think it makes you feel really comfortable and that you belong here. Bubbly would be the right word for to describe a beer in terms of a person. It always enlightens the mood up. Who's very jolly, who's very like outspoken and uh, you know, gets along with everybody. It would be a person that's able to, you know, be something different to everyone. Um, and it's very flexible um, and, and clearly kind of, you know, puts a lot of effort into uh, themselves. It's like the diverse group of friends you wish you had. Um, and you don't like them all the time. You don't hang out with them all the time. Some you can only take for like one hour over coffee. Some you can spend time with five hours a day. Um, but it's that sort of group and community of friends and new people join and some people leave. So that's, that's craft beer for me. So brewers is very helpful. Uh, we are all bootstrapped companies, right? We we all uh, we don't have the funds to uh, buy raw material for the year. So there's sometimes it so happens that we are out of yeast and we are supposed to brew day after tomorrow. So we'll call each other, we'll borrow yeast and uh, ingredients and return it. All our knowledge levels are very different, right? So I am a home brewer turned professional. There are a bunch of other brewers who are who have brewed, who have studied brewing and have 30 years of experience. So whenever there is an issue with with some with a new beer I'm trying to make, or or there is uh, process is stuck somewhere, uh, we are just a folk on away to call and ask. Hey, in your experience, has this ever happened? So it's very nice to kind of uh, rely on each other's knowledge, and it 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 it's a good community because even the experienced guys are not uh, you know uh, arrogant about it.
Honestly, I've met some of the nicest people because they are all brought together by one common thing, which is the taste of beer, rather than what it leaves you with after you've finished having beer. This whole concept of craft beer is not just a product. It's it's a wholesome community. It's it's a lot of brotherhood involved, a lot of people involved in it, a lot of uh, minds, thoughts, everything is involved in it, and which you know makes it exciting not to just share it with your friends and family but to share it with strangers who have the same love for craft beer as you do. Overall there's a very nice positive vibe around the entire uh, craft brew community so I think it's going to become a very big thing and I really hope like especially in Pune since we are a very uh, inclusive city uh, it becomes bigger.